what's going on guys hope you're having an excellent day today it is a little chilly out not gonna lie so obviously nothing is getting worked on outside it is pretty much snow covered in this poor truck i'll tell you what it just sits out here gets all chilly but at least it sits on a charger that is the key to this this guy right here is what i run it on battery doctor i just set it 12 volts and uh it's rainproof and waterproof so i just kind of tuck it up in here and then underneath the hood, it just goes straight to the batteries. The batteries on these trucks are wired in parallel. So if you charge one, you charge them both of them. And no, it doesn't really matter if you choose the one on the driver's side or the passenger side. It's all going to be the same. Keeps it nice and healthy. And then I put a fuel additive in there as well. So really, other than just looking at snow, it's really not going to hurt it or anything like that. As you saw in the last video, if you didn't, you can check it out right up here. I'm pointing in the right general direction. Check it out. It was a Cummins video. Now this one, we're switching it up again. We're going to a Ford. I know, I'm just throwing you guys for a loop here. So we're gonna head off. Actually gonna pick the truck up to work on it. It's gonna be something real simple, but I think you guys are really gonna like this modification. I had it on one of my past past trucks and I loved it a lot. I always got questions about it. So let's go ahead, pick up that truck now and then we'll get started on what exactly we're doing. All right, so this is why you do not YouTube and drive. I literally just about drove off, and I'm not going to lie, I may have done it before, I just about drove off while the truck was still plugged in. So we're going to unplug that, and I actually made this nifty little stand here as some protection for this, that way I'm not just throwing it in the snow and it sits under that shelter, but yeah, you definitely don't want to drive off with it. Here is the beauty that we got today. Uh, I think we need to do a cold start here. It's the only right thing to do. Now, anytime I work on someone's vehicle that isn't mine, a customer say, I always make sure that I get back a clean vehicle. Never ever get back a dirty vehicle. There's like that certain sense of satisfaction when you get your truck back and it is just perfectly clean because with engine stuff you don't always see it you know it's not like wow i'm glad i well as i was saying right before my gopro died is that i hate giving back a dirty truck because you know you, you just give it back dirty and then it doesn't look like you did anything at the end of the day like i was saying with motor work you don't really get to see it so to actually see something physical that's one thing and second thing is i just hate a working on dirty things because if you accidentally rub up against it all that grit and sand just kind of rubs into the paint scratches it and then second, like I said, I just don't like something that's dirty. I like it clean. If it's close enough, we're gonna get to work on it. But this is what I was talking about. These badges right here. So when the key is on inside this F-250 here, where it's more or less like a sort of faded white, also in the Super Duty down there, that actually glows. So that was on my F-150. I'm not sure uh, how this was wired up. It was put on by someone else. But the way I wired it up was I had it on my F-150. When the key came on, the light came on. So to get that, I just ran my power to an add a fuse and that was pretty much the only way to fail proof never accidentally leave them on and that way they were always on so this is the kit right here these are going to be the new ones going in i believe recon did take care of them on that uh, i think some water got into them they had some distortion and colors and all that and then right there is how they eventually look on the truck all finished up so we're going to go ahead and get these old ones pulled out of there looks like some tabs snapping into place um looks like they have like the RGB wiring style to them so they have all the different colors and each of those badges will plug into these harnesses here that lead to this box right here is the power for the box and ground so you have an inline fuse already in there and then the ground itself right there this badge is out obviously it just popped out with the tabs and the wire was just straight here pulled the fender well out to make it easier to get to everything uh, there's these, that little box we had the previous installer put it in the cab but the connections were outside pretty much right underneath this fender well so i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it but it has a lot of corrosion when you see that green stuff in there that is never a good situation so we're going to make sure that all the harnesses and the box it's all going to be inside the cab so it's out of the salt out of the elements and this one i'm just working on getting that piece pulled up so that way we can get this badge out and then slide the new one in.
on the inside of the truck for the wiring we came through on the cab like right about in that area came through so all the connections are inside here so we won't have any issues and this is the box right there the uh, recon box you can change the colors on those buttons here that's what those are for and then the wiring the extra we uh, zip tied in a nice bundle here and this panel it literally just clips back into place so if you ever have to pull it out just give a little force it'll come out the the way the other person had them was with the marker lights so when the marker lights come on those do as well they are in direct sun so it's going to be tough but that's white jordan will hit it to we got red there orange and then sort of like a blue it's tough to tell with it being in the sun but yeah, it's pretty neat how those change colors there you don't have to worry about getting a specific color you just buy one and that's pretty much it so a super simple mod right there it wasn't hard at all maybe uh if you've never done it before i don't know an hour and a half or something just figuring everything out we kind of had it laid out already so took about an hour to do but overall not bad at all first power stoke on the channel here super simple one here but you, know, you got to have the looks with it too now a lot of you ask why i'm not the biggest fan of ford and it's not that i hate them it's not like oh i'd never get one if my life depended on like, i'm not gonna be that kind of guy but actually can you pop the hood jordan so as you can see there's like no room like nothing no extra room for anything here um you can't even see a single valve cover on this engine everything is just it's real tight and compacted in here and that kind of makes it uh frustrating to work on and hard to work on like you cannot even see the back of the turbo let alone that whole manifold they have going on there so compare that to something like this duramax over here not to say these are the easiest things to work on in the world either but see how much more open room there is here yes you're comparing an older one but we're talking about two non-emissions equipped vehicles better for competition use only so you can't really use that excuse you can see the turbo here's your valve cover there's just so much more room to do stuff in here versus you know on that truck over there is a little more difficult now if you want to rank them power stroke hardest to work on by far uh duramax second and then the come is just so easy it feels like it's cheating you saw in the last video how easy that was to just get to the valve cover could you imagine getting to the valve cover on that truck would not be easy so that's my little spiel on why i'm more of a, a duramax guy and a you know cummins guy before ford as always thank you so very much for watching the video i appreciate you supporting the channel sticking around to the end here if you want to do me a huge favor hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video drop a comment below what you guys want to see more we have tons and tons of content coming along here so thanks again guys and we will see you on the next video